The director of National Intelligence reveals startling new details about the Russian collusion hoax against President Donald Trump. And as one of America's Pearson Sharp explains, senior Obama officials were working hard to cover up Hillary Clinton's email scandal and undermine the 2016 election. The chickens are coming home to roost. The director of national intelligence, John Ratcliffe, has finally declassified documents revealing the origins of Hillary Clinton's scheme to falsely connect presidential candidate Donald Trump to the phony Russian collusion scandal. And in what must come as a surprise to absolutely no one, she did it all as, quote, a means of distracting the public from her use of a private email server before the 2016 elections. That's a direct quote from former CIA director John Brennan himself. But even more importantly, and this can't be overstated, Brennan told President Obama all about it. I think John Brennan has turned out to be such a partisan, such a sort of a vituperative uh, uh, critic of the president. And I do really am concerned about having so many people now in the intelligence community that have come out with real partisan views while they're at work. I mean, when people are plotting at work to try to prevent President Trump from being president, that's a problem. So to boil it down, the former president of the United States knew that the CIA, the FBI, and other top officials who worked for him were conspiring to sabotage a presidential candidate, undermining the Democratic election process. This is huge. Remember, President Trump has been exonerated from any connection to the Russian collusion hoax. It's official. Robert Mueller couldn't find anything on Trump even after years of digging. This should be all the ammunition lawmakers need to go after everyone in the Obama camp and bring them up on criminal charges, to say nothing of conspiracy. We're talking about notes that were handwritten by Brennan and were taken after he briefed Obama on what Hillary was up to in July of 2016. The notes specifically state that Hillary Clinton approved a, quote, proposal from one of her foreign policy advisors to vilify Donald Trump by stirring up a scandal claiming interference by the Russian security service. What else do you need? You have it right here in writing. The entire Russian collusion scandal was manufactured by Obama's people. Digging up dirt on Trump was supposed to be easy, but when they couldn't find anything, Hillary Clinton's team decided to pay for some opposition research. Hillary said jump, and the DNC hired Perkins Coy, who hired Fusion GPS, who hired Christopher Steele. A former British intelligence officer, Steele Doug, put together his findings and handed them over to the FBI in what's now known as the infamous dossier. The problem is, the dossier is totally unverified, and those who have seen it say less than 30% of it is even true, and none of that has anything to do with President Trump. Despite this, the dossier does actually reveal at least one clear case of collusion. Not between President Trump and Russia, however, but between Hillary Clinton, the DNC, and the FBI, all to prevent President Trump from getting elected. Well, it's very scary, right? The federal government's not supposed to be able to spy on American citizens without a very, very good reason. And that's why there's supposed to be this protection with the FISA court um, and a very rigorous process for getting a warrant. So to be clear, Hillary's team paid for a foreign agent to dig up dirt on Trump to prove that Trump was using a foreign agent to dig up dirt on Hillary. What's more, all of this is based on a dossier that James Comey called both salacious and unverified. And guess who signed the FISA warrants for Carter Page, who was an outlying campaign member who had very little to do with Trump's election? That's right. James Comey, Andrew McCabe, Sally Yates, and Dana Bunte, another Obama appointee. We now have evidence that Russian agents were paid for by a campaign. We have evidence that Christopher Steele paid Russian agents and he was paid for by Hillary Clinton. So the only direct linkage we have to Russians so far on the evidence is actually the Hillary Clinton campaign through Christopher Steele to Russian agents that were paid for this dossier. 
And there's even more. John Ratcliffe has also declassified information exposing an effort by U.S. intelligence officials back in September of 2016 about another plan by Hillary to take down Trump. With Hillary's approval, intelligence officials hatched a plan involving, quote, U.S. presidential candidate Donald Trump and Russian hackers hampering U.S. elections all so she could distract attention away from her email scandal. And this request was sent straight to both the deputy assistant director of counterintelligence, Peter Strzok, and the director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, James Comey. The same Comey who told the Senate Judiciary Committee that this exact memo that was sent to him, quote, didn't ring any bells. Every single person named in this collusion against Trump were senior officials in the Obama administration, many of them handpicked by Obama himself. As if all that weren't enough, the information Obama's team were relying on to put together this little coup was sourced directly from Russian foreign agents. That's from Attorney General William Barr, who sent a letter to Senator Lindsey Graham explaining the FBI knew the primary source for the intel was even under investigation by the FBI itself for ties to Russian intelligence agents. Unfortunately, you know, it wasn't the Russian government that was doing this. It was the U.S. government, you know, in terms of the hacking, number one, was seen on the, uh, you know, with this illegitimate FISA warrant. And then the fake news and propaganda was this same, you know, false story that was used um, in September 2016 to start this investigation, you know, to help build upon this investigation against myself and, uh, you know, start something there and um, really go after the Trump campaign. President Trump has weighed in on this groundbreaking new report calling the whole affair a coup that almost destroyed our country. He's not wrong. And the evidence is all right here. James Comey, John Brennan, Hillary Clinton, Dana Bente, Peter Strzok, Sally Yates, Andrew McCabe, the DNC, the FBI, and countless others, all conspiring against Donald Trump and all working for Obama. The Democrats, the same party now fielding Joe Biden, tried to overthrow a U.S. election and cheat the American people out of their right to choose their own president. And Democratic lawmakers, including Adam Schiff, are committed to playing for their own team and have refused to prosecute or investigate any of their colleagues involved in the scandal. So the question remains, why? Didn't Obama try and stop interference in a Democratic election when he knew exactly what was happening? Obama knew the Russian collusion narrative was false. He knew Hillary was trying to derail the election. He knew his own people were working to falsely accuse Donald Trump of a crime he didn't commit. They were all complicit in staging a government coup. And now it's time to hold them accountable. For One America News, I'm Pearson Sharp. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.